Hey guys, how's it going today? It's SeaWorks back with another video. Doing a little bit something new for me personally today. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Acelith Sim Racing Wheel Mod. As you can see, I already have it mounted here. But in this video today, we're going to unbox it, assemble it, and I'll give you a brief review and my thoughts on the product itself. I've been waiting on this product for about a week and a half now. They're made in Italy. They're based out of Italy, so the shipping is a little bit longer, obviously, than what we would want, but you have to be sort of patient when it's shipping from overseas. So understandable with that. Some first impressions before we really dive in is for the money. If you're looking to get away from a round rim, such as this one here, my Sparco P310, I'm, I'm satisfied so far. So let's, before I get too far into it, let's do the unboxing and assembling and we'll chit chat a little bit more about the rest of it. So first things first, it comes in a nice sleek package with uh, the proper branding. Looks very nice to open the package. You open the box up and obviously in there is a sticker kit, which I believe I ordered extra. So it's got a bunch of stickers to label your wheel buttons with. Um, obviously they're informational card. Feel free to check out Acelith Sim Racing on social media. And obviously the wheel mod. Now picking this up, it kind of surprised me with how well made it really was for the price. I paid $60 plus shipping for this. It's nice and sleek. Grips feel very ergonomic and friendly to the hands. Where your hands actually grip is made out of some soft plastic, which could be a little bit slippery with sweaty hands, but with some gloves, I think you'd be just fine. So let's start with assembly now. Um, I'm obviously doing this on the Thrustmaster Sparco P310 rim. Um, I'm sure most of the other installations are about identical. Um, really all you're gonna need for this is a basic set of rusty Allen keys, just like I have here. Uh, you're just gonna start by removing all the screws on the face of the rim plate. Now, once you have those all removed, you can remove the wheel face and the rim and you will be sitting here with a nice clean button box with no rim on it just like you see here and all you're going to do is you're going to take the acelith wheel mod face and put it right over the button box and then throw the screws back in it it's that simple folks it's a lot easier than i would have expected to end up with the result you end up with uh, which is a nice high quality formula style rim. And here's the finished product. You have a nice, clean, ergonomic formula style rim versus the old round hunk of junk that you've been complaining about for months. Then all you're left to do is just mount it back to your wheelbase. Mine's the Thrustmaster T300. And bam, there it is, ready to rip. Some of my initial impressions are as follows. Just grabbing a hold of the wheel, hopping in the car the first time. First thing I notice is the buttons. They're a lot easier to reach than what I had with my Sparco P310 rim. As you can see, I'm playing with my, all my buttons, seeing what they feel like. And it's a lot easier to reach. There's less in your way. Overall, it's a benefit so far to strap this thing on and just go drive. Now, obviously these are initial impressions and some of my opinions could change over time. Some of the other things I thought of when trying this for the first time is the, the hand grips. They're made out of that hard plastic or it's not hard plastic, it's, it's like a soft feel, but it's obviously heavy duty plastic. Over time, I could see them really getting slick and becoming an issue, but as far as Right now, I don't see it being a problem, especially if you were to wear gloves, I, I don't think you'd ever have a, an issue. Another thing with the grips is where they're bolted together, there's little holes on the top and bottom of, of each grip, front and back. Sometimes, depending on wh where your hand placement is, it can really catch your fingers and give you a, just not a, a pleasant feeling. It's not horrible, like I said, but it's definitely one of those things that I'm gonna have to get used to. 
Now, some of my final thoughts on this wheel mod is for the price, you can't beat it. Uh, I love that it's pretty universal. There's so many different rims that this could fit on. It's great for the budget friendly market. I'm obviously, I am a big budget guy. None of my stuff is high end. My PC's not high end. My wheels not high end. My pedals aren't high end. I'm a middle of the road kind of guy. I get what I, I can afford and I make it work. So if you're that type of guy, you fit that mold, then I would highly, highly, highly recommend this. If you're looking to get away from a round rim, it's very affordable. Like I said, it was $60 plus shipping. I'll leave all the, the details down in the description. On their website, they offer several different decal designs. I chose something clean that just catches my, my style, my room and whatnot, but uh, they got a lot of different colorways on there you could choose from. Uh, you can order some custom number stickers to put on the wheel. Uh, it comes on a little white sheet like this and you can just, I order number 16, that's my number. You can put them wherever you want. Um, so yeah, as far as budget friendly, guys in the market like me who just don't have the money to go constantly upgrade your rig or you know, have the latest and greatest all the time, if you fit that mold, like I said before, I can't recommend this highly enough as of now. So like I said, it's not the latest and greatest. It's not the best of the best. But if you're simply looking to take your lower end entry level wheel and spice it up a bit, this is a good thing. Um, I'm excited to get more used to it. I'm, I'm super pumped on the look. And it looks like it should be a lot more expensive than it was. Definitely check out Aceleth Sim Racing. All their socials are available on their website and i'll leave that in the description below so if you could give this video a like subscribe to the channel if you like this content um, and let me know what you think down below this is my first product review type of video so let me know your thoughts on how stupid i sound <laughs> i appreciate everybody watching thank you, I just want you.